So, on the 16th of March 2024, I received a comment on my video, the Ariana Grande clone that released her unreleased music, which I posted in January of this year. The comment read, Anna Oop copied this word for word. To me, Anna Oop is just that hilarious Jasmine Masters meme, but on YouTube, Anna Oop is a channel with over 2.1 million subscribers who, on the 12th of March 2024, posted a video titled Ariana Grande's clone steals and releases her music brackets lawsuit. This video is about the same topic as my video regarding Adriana Venti the fake clone that published Ariana Grande's unreleased song Fantasize on Spotify. Link in the description to my video for context. Now just to be clear I have no issue with channels making videos about the same topics as me. This is not what this video is about. YouTube naturally has tons of overlap with creators videos because there's only so much people can talk about. However, in my opinion, my video and Anna Oop's video goes well beyond just sharing topics. Some of these similarities are actually hilarious so I wanted to make a video about them not only to call them out but to also have a bit of a laugh really at where Anna Oop allegedly has kind of slipped up. I've also heard that the word of the year on YouTube is plagiarism so I couldn't pass up on the opportunity really. Please also remember that this is all alleged and also please remember that I am not the first to allege these things about Anna Oop. So, after receiving that comment on the 16th of March, I went over to watch Anna Oop's video and this is the first three seconds of their Ariana Grande clone video. I'm all out of secrets. You've stolen all my unreleased music, it's horrible. This is a clip from Ariana's Rem Beauty Q&A where she talks about people leaking her music. And the first thing that caught my attention was the lovely pastel purple background behind the Ariana Grande clip because it just matches the vibe of the clip and Ariana so well and the background has clearly been selected by someone with taste and I would know because I picked out that background. Here is a clip from my video at 12 minutes 55 seconds. I'm all out of secrets. You've stolen all my unreleased music. It's horrible. And just to clarify as well, there is no mention anywhere in Anna Oop's description or in the video as far as I could see of my channel. Although I do actually make an appearance in the video but I don't think that was on purpose. I'll explain later. So in my opinion, it appears that the Anna Oop channel, instead of watching the 11 minute long Q&A video for a clip, may have just recorded these few seconds of my video and used it in their own. But of course, they could have also licensed the exact same swirly purple background for themselves and put it behind the Q&A clip, so I decided to give Anna Oop the benefit of the doubt. Then, around one minute into the Anna Oop video, the voiceover says the following about how the leaked song came to be known as Fantasized. But because the word fantasize was right at the start of the catchy part, fans quickly decided that they would start calling it that. This is something that I also mention in my video too. An unreleased Ariana Grande demo began to be shared around on the internet. The song did not have an official title, but fans soon began to call the song Fantasize, a word which featured in the first line of the chorus. Now, as you can see, we both have decided to use the same tweet in our video. Interestingly, both screenshots show that the tweet has the same number of views in both my video and theirs, which feels unlikely to happen given that if the tweet was looked up again after my video, the view number should have been one larger, at least. The Anna Oop video goes on to show the now deleted TikTok on which Ariana Grande commented, allegedly. And something I was glad to see was that both me and Anna Oop had managed to figure out after hours of searching that since the TikTok was deleted, the only place that still had details about the TikTok cached was Bing videos for some reason. But as they say, great minds think alike. But the first real issue, in my opinion, comes when the account says this. Everyone in the comments was talking about how amazing the song was and wondering why Ariana had never released it. These are the exact same two comments that I use in my video, but again, given the benefit of the doubt, both of us may have just chosen to use the same comments to demonstrate our point. The only problem is, these comments weren't from this TikTok, as Anna Oop's video implies. At the bottom of my video when I showed these comments, I wrote a disclaimer clarifying that these comments were actually taken from different videos that used the fantasized 
song as the original TikTok had been deleted midway through my research. So I did know that the comments of the original TikTok were in this vein of thought, that's why I used them, but I didn't have any of the actual comments screenshotted, thus the non-original TikTok comments and the disclaimer. So what I find interesting is that if Anna Oop had stumbled across these TikTok comments naturally and by themselves in their research, they would have known that they weren't from this TikTok, like they claim in their video. What Anna Oop had shared was false, but I thought this may have just been me being pedantic, so I carried on watching. The next part of my video I want to highlight is that following Ariana asking fans to stop spreading the leaks, I say this, and so of course, fans respected her wishes and all leaks were deleted and no one ever heard the unreleased music again, right? Right? An attempt at humour, some might say. And it appears Anna Oop, like myself, is also an aspiring comedian. Of course, everyone immediately stopped and deleted all the leaks, making sure the unreleased songs were never heard again. Or did they? Hmm. And of course, again, this may just have been a coincidence, I will admit the joke is hardly reinventing the wheel, but still, it was something to think about. Moving on through the video, there were some other similarities that I noticed. However, a fantasized era was still on the cards for fans, as they decided to take things into their own hands. Hinting at a fantasized era created by the fans themselves. There's something you should know. All in caps, for some reason. Yep, in all caps, because why not make it stand out? But again, I was keeping in mind that both videos are discussing the same topic, so some overlap is obviously inevitable. Then around five minutes into Anna Oop's video, Anna Oop begins to discuss the image of Adriana Venti and how it is edited and shows the original, as I also do in my video. They edited it to feature her rocking her signature high ponytail and showcasing her Ramsey lip gloss, making it look like it was supposed to be Adriana Venti. There's an image of Ariana Grande with her Rem Beauty lip gloss that had been edited to have her signature high pony. Presumably, this edited image depicts Adriana Venti. Again, we are talking about the same topic here. Obviously, coverage of the facts will be similar, right? Well, unfortunately for Anna Oop, it is this comparison of the before and after images that confirmed my suspicions that Anna Oop had taken at least some parts of my video. Because this image here wasn't the image of the fake Adriana Venti, and nor was this image the image of Ariana. Let me explain. In my video, when I show these images, I have written at the bottom of the screen, these images have been slightly altered for use in this video. And I will admit that the word slightly is doing some heavy lifting here, because the original image isn't this one that both me and Anna Oop have shared in our videos, it is this one. While creating my video, I became extremely conscious of the fact that I might get told off by the red eye in the sky, if you know what I mean, for using this image in the video. So I decided to Photoshop the image so it appeared to be more of a vest rather than just putting ugly sensor bars over it. And because I had edited these images, I made sure to put a disclaimer in the video to ensure that no misinformation was spread. I also wrote a further disclaimer in the comments, apologising for the slight edits I have made to some of the images for this video. If you know, you know. Unfortunately, I have to play it safe. I hope this makes sense. Please be aware it is not me attempting to make any sort of statement slash comment about the image, nor is it due to my own personal views, etc. I hope you can forgive me. In a roundabout way, I was attempting to say that me adding this extra piece of fabric in Photoshop wasn't me attempting to make comment about Ariana nor her body, because making comments about other people's bodies is, in in my opinion, tacky and gross, but I know we all don't share that same opinion. However, perhaps Anna Oop hadn't taken these images I edited and instead had just thought the same thing that I had and chose to censor these images in the exact same way to also not get into any trouble. It's a possibility. Only that was when I realised that while I was editing my Adriana Venti video, I must have become a little bit careless and I had made an unfortunate mistake. At 5.43 in my video, I show a screenshot of the song that was uploaded to Spotify and as you can see, I have forgotten 
forgotten to switch the real Adriana Venti pick with my quote unquote playing it safe version. I'd made an error. And interestingly, at 5.22 in Anna Oop's video, when they show the image of the song on Spotify, they also seem to have forgotten to replace the little image of the album and have instead left it as the uncensored image. Same as mine. Now, sarcasm aside, if it wasn't obvious by now, it is my opinion that Anna Oop has used my video as the basis of their video and instead of collating all of their own screenshots or sources, have instead just screenshotted or recorded parts of my video to use as parts of their video. Thus, the identical choice of some tweets, identically censored images, and even identical mistakes. If my maths is correct, of the 52 screenshots slash images about Adriana used in Anna Oop's video, excluding the videos of Ariana Grande's music videos, stock footage, general logos, etc., out of the 52, 44 of them are also in my video. Often, the exact same screenshot down to the exact number of views. And here's some interesting screenshots to highlight. When Anna Oop's video shows the tweet, they're silencing an indie alternative underground artist. At the top, there is an interesting thin purple edge. And when this tweet is shown in my own video, the background I have used was a very similar, if not the same, colour of purple. I think that's been a cropping error where they've screenshotted my video and failed to completely remove the background. Another cropping error seems to occur when Anna Oop shows Adriana's last FM page, and in the bottom right hand corner is quite literally my channel logo. It is my belief that these are screenshots that have been taken from my video. Now, I am not claiming to own all of these images or tweets, the vast majority of them I did screenshot myself and if I didn't, I provided a source for where I got it. Additionally, I do recognise that some of these images are just necessary to tell the story of Adriana Venti. For example, the screenshot of the tweet revealing that the person behind Adriana's Spotify was allegedly getting sued. So, this tweet appearing in both videos is obviously a necessity and isn't strong evidence that my video has been plagiarised or copied. However, in my opinion, what is strong evidence and is perhaps the most egregious indication of Anna Oop's suspected video copying, excluding the failed cropping of my logo and the consistent use of my edited Adriana picture, is the use of the exact same reaction tweets as my video to illustrate a point. For example, in a section of my video where I discuss the fake Adriana artists having fans on Twitter, I selected a series of tweets from the many that were being shared that showed Adriana had a fan base. The exact same tweets that I selected were also used in Anna Oop's video, out of the perhaps hundreds of others available. I would also like to highlight that these three tweets were not well known or viral reactions to Adriana Venti. This all, in my opinion, and allegedly of course, suggests that instead of Anna Oop having researched and found these tweets for themselves, they have just watched my video and have just taken screenshots from it, because the probability that we both chose the exact same three tweets is extremely, extremely low. I do understand that it's the internet. Screenshots or receipts are often passed around and anything posted can quickly be taken and re-uploaded by someone else, but to have potentially not even have bothered to look up tweets and images that I used in my video for yourself and instead just screenshot them directly from my video edits and all is, in my opinion, low. Like, a simple screenshot of a website was taken directly from my video despite quite little literally being a single Google search away. As a side note, thematically, both videos also hit similar notes, including ending on the same point about other stands in the future also attempting to make their own Spotify clones of their fave artists and it potentially becoming a trend on Stan Twitter. And it seems that this isn't the first time that someone has accused Anna Oop of plagiarising their videos. A quick Google search, see, it's easy, shows up several other creators who say that Anna Oop has stolen their video, so it appears it's potentially a common occurrence. For me, the most frustrating part of all of this is that my videos take a long time to make, sometimes months, particularly due to the amount of research and gathering of screenshots that I do. So, to have a channel over 20 times my size allegedly have just watched my video, screenshotted parts of the video, and then that's the majority of their research done, and to not even give me a cheeky shout out in the description or video is extremely annoying and disheartening. And the fact that this alleged scavenging has led to some misinformation being presented as truth in their video just makes the whole thing that little bit worse.
I would also like to point out that I do see the irony in the fact that my video, or at least my screenshot slash evidence that I used in a video about Adriana Venti, the fake clone that published Ariana Grande's unreleased song Fantasize, was potentially also stolen. She explained that sharing someone's music without asking is wrong. Not just because it's illegal, but it's also not nice. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already, please consider going to watch my Adriana Venti video, but if it's not your thing and you are purely here for plagiarism talk, I respect and appreciate that too. If you want better quality uploads, consider subscribing to my main channel, Jaw Regrets, but also subscribe to this channel too if you feel like it. I do have more videos planned for this channel coming very soon.